Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I am a bikini competitor, weightlifter, mom, night shift nurse. So life can be really busy. And so I have been meal prepping every week for 10 years. Ever since I met my husband, he did meal prep. I meal prepped through college. I meal prepped through nursing school. And like that's just kind of how I eat. Um, and part of that meal prep is vitamins and supplements. Well, today I have run out of all my vitamins and supplements, so I decided, well, I'll show you what I take every single day and all the pill forms that we have. So I'll kind of get it all set up so you guys can kind of see what I do. But it's pretty chill. Um, I have these containers that I got off of Amazon. They come in like this little pill pack here. I have two of them, full of them. And they're just like these little pill packs. And you can see just these little pill packs with day and night so that way I can just take them out stick them in my lunchbox and I'm good to go I have two of them because I've already lost at least one of them I've lost a Wednesday and a Wednesday has gone no clue where she is uh, Thursday from this set is in my lunchbox and that's full of like my caffeine pills and then I also have one of these is full of Tums and one of them is full of Benadryl um, I'm not quite sure where those came from but anyways so let's go through all my pills together. I'll kind of show you what I take every single day. I know that some people will track this in their macros. I personally do. Some people don't because it's, they're like, it's something I take every day. It's not going to change, so it shouldn't fluctuate. However, it is roughly one carb, three fat, one protein. And when you were like, when I was in prep and my, every carb mattered, every fat mattered, it was important to me to continue to track them, especially since some of the medications, like I switched out hair, skin, and nails for prenatal, so it like switched up my fats like halfway through. There's some different additives to vitamin mix blends, kind of things like that. So I just wanted to make sure that everything was trackable, if that makes sense. So uh, let's go through all of my vitamins. So most of these vitamins I've been taking for literal years 
and I take them the same way every single day. I know which ones make me nauseous, so I'll eat them at night. I know which ones give me energy, so I'll take them in the morning, which ones work better at night. It does also help that I am a nurse, so I kind of know like how doctors would prescribe these to patients. These are all just over-the-counter vitamins. The majority of these, as you can tell by the size of the bottles, we get from Costco. So I'm going to go through what I take during the day. The first one is going to be fish oil. This is a thousand milligram fish oil. It says serving size one soft gel, but it says take one twice a day. So I do take one in the morning, one at night. Fish oil has healthy omega-3 and DHA in it, which is going to help with healthy recovery of muscles as well as good heart health. This is where like the pill packs that you get like really come into play. Like they'll say on it how many fish oil pills they hold because these fish oils are like the size of like a whole knuckle for me. So if it's like these pill packs will hold 15 fish oils, those are pretty good size pill packs. My pill pack by the end of the day is actually pretty well like back that I kind of have to like shake it around and um, to like close them, but they do always close. I've never had a problem with them like exploding. The next one on the list is glucosamine with MSM. So this is gonna help with tissue in the joints specifically. I am 31 years old. I'm not getting any younger. I need to protect my joints, especially when I'm lifting super heavy. So a lot of my lifts, I'll also wear like wraps or like sleeves, something kind of compressive on the joints as to not have them pop out. Um, but I also take glucosamine for internal joint health. I've seen way too many knee repairs, hip repairs, shoulder repairs. I've never had to have surgery, thank goodness. And I probably won't ever need to. My problem areas are in my spine. I've had a lot of back issues and then like some SI joint, but never like hip labrum, knee kind of a thing. So the serving size on this one says to take two tablets. And what I do is I take one in the morning, one at night. Just kind of spreads it out. Also, it helps because these two are like pretty big size to fit in the containers. There's no rhyme or reason. Like you don't have to take both in the morning. You don't have to take both at night. It just says to take it with a full glass of water. And since I'm drinking my gallon of water every day anyways, why not? Vitamin C, super important, especially if you work in healthcare, just to keep your immune system up. These are the chewables. So this is kind of like my little, little treat to myself sometimes. I do take these at night because if I take vitamin C on an empty stomach or even just like right after breakfast when I only have one meal in my stomach, I can get really, really nauseous with it. So I take these at night and it's like a little sweet treat before I go to bed. During flu season, I'll take two or if there's like a particularly bad run of like COVID at my hospital, I will take two or if like the family's sick, I'll take two. Otherwise, I just take one, which is 500 milligrams. The next big daddy pill is going to be a daily multivite. I do, when I have more carbs and I'm not in prep, and now that I'm re doing a reverse diet, I am getting a little bit more carbs, but I still want them through whole foods. I usually take my multivitamin as a chewable gummy. Again, take it at the end of the day. It's like a nice little treat to myself because I am an adult and I have adult money and I can have gummy vitamins if I want to. But um, they did have like four to five carbs for a serving. And when every carb matters, you want it from whole food, not from vitamins. Um, and so I switched over to just a daily multivite in like the pill form. So that way there's no carbs in this at all. I just take one a day. I take this one in the morning just cause. I have been taking magnesium for years at the recommendation of my massage therapist told me to take it before bed. It's going to help relax those muscles. But I was taking like mag citrate, which if anyone in like healthcare or anyone who actually like does some research knows, that's actually more for like bowel motility. So rather than like my skeletal muscles being relaxed, my bowel muscles were being relaxed. So I was having like a lot of bowel movements and it was just very uncomfortable. And then I realized I needed to get a different form of magnesium. 
So I was doing magnesium oxide for a while and that was like doing okay. And then I was reading up online about magnesium glycinate. It'll also help with nerve and tissue in the brain cells to kind of protect those nerve axons. And so it's good nerve health and muscle relaxation. And so this one's more as like a sleep aid to help recover the mind and the body. Like physically, not so much just like a mental like relaxation. So this is magnesium glycinate. It's 240 milligrams per serving. I take two capsules a day and I do take both of them at night because it is a relaxation aid. I take it about an hour before bedtime so that way it'll kick in and then I feel pretty chill. This one will throw some people off because it is a prenatal with folic acid and DHA. No, I am not pregnant. No, I'm not trying to be pregnant. I have been taking prenatals every day for like eight years and I've only been pregnant for 10 months of those eight years. This is really great for your skin and your hair and your nails. So it's like when they say, oh, you're glowing as a mom, it's because your body is making more folic acid and more DHA. This helps promote during pregnancy, additional folic acid and DHA to help baby grow good hair, skin and nails and joints and uh, grow a baby and to grow a child, right? But I take it <laughs> for my hair, skin and nails. It's also another like source of fat for like a good, a good healthy heart. And it does have some iron in it. I have some slight anemia, but I can't take iron pills because they constipate me too much and they make me really nauseous. So I try to focus on making sure like the rest of my supplements have some iron in it. And I'm also eating some like nice dark green vegetables because those are gonna be higher in iron. I just take one of these a day. I take them in the morning purely because that's how it fits into the containers better. So your girl has been a night shift nurse for five to six years. If you can't tell by my pasty white complexion, I do not get to see the sun that often. And in the winter time, it's especially bad because I will drive to work in the dark. I will leave to drive home in the dark. I don't see the sun. And so during the winter time, in addition to my supplements, I will also do like um, bed tanning, just see a little extra UV light just like five minutes, nothing like crazy, but just enough to get some extra UV. But what I do in the meantime is I do vitamin D3. So this is 50 micrograms, which is 2000 units. Um, I do two of these a day. The serving size is for one, so I do 4000 units a day. And in addition to that, I will also do monthly injections of 30,000 units. Um, because my hormone provider says that that's the best way to do it as well. So you get good absorption of it because your gut doesn't really absorb D3 that well, but your muscles do. So it's an IM injection, but you can only do one a month because it lasts for a pretty long time. My vitamin D level is a little bit above normal, but because I'm so vitamin D depleted in the rest of like my life and aspect, we're okay with it. It's not like, overshot it's not super high vitamin d is also really good for bone health and immune health because it will bind to calcium and allow for that calcium to be used to help make sure that your bones stay strong again i'm lifting a lot of weight i'm literally pulling muscle that is pulling on a bone so it's tearing away those bone fibers and i don't want to end up with like osteoporosis at 35. so we're going to take two of these a day one in the morning one at night Another one of my daily pills is just allergy medications. It is springtime in North Idaho and the pollen is everywhere. So the allergies are really bad, but I do take an allergy medication year round. I am allergic to cats, pretty bad. And so, therefore I have like a slight allergy to dogs. I have four dogs and they all shed. One of them specifically, my Husky just sheds like a lot. So to make sure that like I'm not even though I have them in my daily life and I'm exposed to it daily, I can tell the days I don't take my allergy meds because they'll like lay against my skin and I'll get like really itchy or my throat gets really itchy, my eyes get really itchy. So I go between um, the Kirkland brand Zyrtec and the Kirkland brand Claritin. I usually switch like 
every six months. The Zyrtec I'll take in the winter and then the Claritin I'll take in the summer because I find that the Claritin works best for my outdoor allergies and so in the spring summer when the pollen's really high I'll switch to the Claritin. In the winter I'll stick to the Zyrtec. I haven't picked up the Claritin version yet so we're just going to stick with the Zyrtec and I take that in the morning every day. So this might be TMI. I really don't care. I'm just going to let you all know. Ever since I had my son, my bowel movements and my digestion has been really kind of messed up. We've gotten in a pretty good pattern and it's because I take a stool softener every day and then like once a week I'll do Miralax just to make sure that everything's moving. I can usually tell when I'm pretty bloated. I can tell what foods pretty bloat me. We did cut out a lot of digestive irritants during prep so like no milk no red meats any dairy really so I haven't had a lot of those in a while um, however when I do like drink milk it's usually like an almond milk or lactose free milk so I don't notice it as much I did notice when I had some whey protein powder a couple of weeks ago that really bloated me so I was like looking into like some vegan plant-based proteins but the macros were like really off and I just I'll take the bloat and my body will figure it out. So I do take a stool softener every day. I take it at night because then it'll work throughout the evening. So in the morning when you wake up and you go to the bathroom for the first time of the day, that's when it should kick in. Some people are always like, oh, it's going to make me poop in the middle of the night. Nah, it doesn't work that fast. But we do want you to have like a bowel movement. At least this is what I tell my patients. Like we want you to have a bowel movement in the morning rather than like you're trying to get to bed and then you're pooping for the next like 10 hours in the middle of the night. Don't do that to yourself. Now, usually I will also add zinc into my pill packs and I'll do it at night because zinc and my body are not friends. But a couple days ago I did end up getting really, really sick from it. Um, my body and zinc just aren't good friends. So I need to figure out a way to make sure that it stays in my whole foods rather than in the pills because I don't know if it's just like this brand or if it's just like in the pill form of it like in the capsules or what it is but um, it makes me so nauseous like I have to take it and then make sure that I'm going like right to bed but it's really good for immune health and um, like an antioxidant so like I want to take it but I also don't want to be throwing up for two hours so we're not going to add it this week and give my body a little bit of a break Another one that I've added in recently is milk thistle. It's really good for liver detoxification antioxidant. In November, I had a weird idiopathic pancreatitis. So that's inflammation of the pancreas. It sits right underneath, kind of next to your stomach, and it helps break down all the fats. Well, I got like severe pain, nausea, diarrhea. It was really painful. It was horrible. And usually... And pancreatitis, like when the pancreatic duct gets clogged, all of those enzymes will feed back into the pancreas and start eating away at the pancreas itself. So we thought maybe it was from like a liver problem because my pancreas enzymes were elevated and then a week later when we were trending the labs, my liver enzymes were elevated. All of my levels are fine now. I've been trending them every six months just to make sure. But I do take some milk thistle with some dandelion root it's just something I googled online that helps with the liver detoxification and I don't want to destroy my liver or my pancreas and develop diabetes or hepatitis. So I do take one of these a day. I take them in the morning because that's how it fits in my pill pack. If it doesn't matter if it's in the day or like if it doesn't matter if it's in the morning or night, um, I'll just put it in based off of does it fit. One of my favorite things I like to do for mental clarity is use plant-based supplements. So this one's ashwagandha. I used to do like CBD oils or like low, low, low levels of THC, but since I work in healthcare and can't get drug tested, I don't do that anymore. And so I wanted to find an alternative to something that can help me relax and get like a solid night's sleep so that I have good mental clarity. And that's how I found ashwagandha. This one is actually pretty strong. It says for like mental clarity throughout like all of the research I've looked, you want like two to 600 milligrams. This one for two capsules is a thousand milligrams. So I just take one uh, 500 milligram capsule and this will help 
me relax in the evening. It also helps like your cortisol levels. So like if you have like a super high stressful day, it'll help you kind of chill, relax those cortisol levels because that cortisol can cause like pretty bad detriment to your training program. And I want to do everything I can to make sure that I'm growing and doing what I need to do so that I have a better physique next time. Let's not like hold on to a bunch of water, cortisol, and inflammation. Let's just kind of chill. So I'll take one of these every night before bed. I love when I grab exactly seven. That's exciting. Now the last thing I will add to my little smorgasbord is a probiotic. I have only started taking these with my coach. So I've been with her for a year and a half now. So I've taken them every day for a year and a half because she told me to. It's good for gut health. Like I said, I have a lot of digestion issues. And so I'll go between like constipation and diarrhea. And when you have diarrhea, you lose a lot of that like good gut flora, all that good bacteria that's in there and can leave behind the bad bacteria. That's how you get C. diff. That's how you get infections. So the probiotic helps replace all that good flora that you might lose through that. It also just helps kind of keep everything moving, that bad flora from like rising to the top. So I take one of these every day and I take it at night because that's what it tells you to do. Take it once a day. It can be taken with or without food. I just stick it in the nighttime ones. Ooh, I need to get more. So yeah, as part of my meal prep, this is what I'll do every week. Somehow it'll either be like a Sunday that I do all of the pills and then I'll meal prep Monday or we try to meal prep on Sundays. Today is a Sunday and it just happens that I have to do my supplements on Sunday. Um, but sometimes I'll do them on Monday. It just kind of depends on like when I run out of them and when I have the time to do them because it is like a project to get them all done. So those are the vitamins that I take. So this is them when they're all done. They're pretty full. So I just kind of like shake them out, let them settle. And then, ta-da, got my little pill packs.